What is up my mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video we're going to be looking at Zegna's Essence Indonesian Oud. But before I get into the first impressions, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Hit that big red button down below, it says subscribe, it helps me out immeasurably. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. this Ermin Gildo Zegna Indonesian Oud sample bottle when I purchased Bad Boy Le Parfum. I received it in like a little shipping box and that fragrance was in it and so was this tiny little sample bottle. And I've been holding off doing it for a while just because I know Oud can be a little challenging and I wanted to prepare my nose for it and my brain I suppose as well. So I'm just going to be opening this up. I haven't actually opened it yet. It's like pretty beaten up but it is what it is. Here is the little sample container. I don't get anything coming out of the atomizer, so perhaps it's not going to be super strong or stinky as ouds typically are. This is an Eta Parfum and this is a 0.5 fluid ounces, 1.5 milliliters. So I'm just going to get my hand here and there we go. So there's another couple of wares left in here. I can already smell the fragrance. Powerful. Powerful. A very strong oud note. But it's a little more delicate than what you would typically find in Middle Eastern perfumery. So it's not going to just smack you in the face with that animalic, raw, almost stinky vibe it's very in your face though it's very woody but there is a delicate rose note here as well to my nose it's very rosy it's a little on the sharp side so if you don't like particularly overpowering fragrances i would probably avoid this one it's definitely not for your first oud mercedes-benz le parfum is a much better entry point to ouds this, whilst not being the most challenging or overpowering oud I've ever smelt, it is still, it's still very in your face. Like, I can smell it all the way from up here. Be careful when you're wearing this and what you're wearing with. This will stick to your clothes, of that I have no doubt. Previously, when I've worn some ouds before, I've had to leave jackets out with the fragrance on it to let it air out a bit. Like, and that's only with like one or two sprays as well. It is very reminiscent of a lot of those sharper, Middle Eastern ouds, however it is a touch more delicate. The florals in this present themselves quite nicely as well. I think that's going to be a saving grace for a lot of people is that rose note, which is quite light, delicate and almost feminine. Um, I know oud fragrances are typically unisex and this is no exception to that, but because of that gentle rose note in it, I do think this is going to lean ever so slightly feminine. Uh, but that doesn't really matter either way. It's still a very prominent woody and oud fragrance. There's nothing bright about it. I don't get any fruits or citruses. There's no sweetness, just woods and florals. It's a very nice fragrance. I would probably give it a seven out of 10. Would it be my favorite? Absolutely not. But I think as far as ouds are concerned, this is gonna perform like a beast. It's going to smell pretty nice and after it dies down a little bit, after some of the alcohol wears away and that, you know, really prominent oud note fades a little bit, it's going to be quite gentle and nice. So yeah, first impressions of Indonesian oud by Ermin Gildo Zegna Essence. It's pretty decent. If you're in the market for a, like an oud fragrance that's both strong but probably not as overpowering as some of those Middle Eastern ouds, Maybe this is for you. Or perhaps you're after something a little more challenging after wearing Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum. This is also gonna be up your alley. Anyways, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and until the next video, catch you guys around. 